Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So it's the 4th of January, welcome to Monday. It's just shy of 1 o'clock and it's about 34 degrees out here. That makes it 1.5 degrees Celsius, 43% humidity, nice and dry. And then uh, that whole crescent moon thing is about correct. And look at that, we got a green light on because we got the whole sunny blue sky outside. So, it is cold. And it is dry, which is a, a good thing. Uh, the ground is even, uh, except where the sun is shining, the ground is also frozen up a bit. Um, this time of year, uh, the ground has a where it has a tendency to get a little slimy. And by that I mean um, you kind of have a little bit of um, frost, uh, then it melts, which makes the top soft and then it's frozen underneath or it's dry underneath but the top is is wet you know mud slime anyway i think you guys remember i bought this engine and they call it a 125 constant velocity transmission auto three speed <clears throat> with reverse it's um it's an auto clutch three speed and it's got reverse it's for in you, you know ATV um, he's out of these so he's asking too much money right I bought his last one and just to show you I paid 270 for this engine so it's brandy spanking new electric start only electric start no pull start no kick start it does have three speeds it does have reverse I like the engine anyway I was asked some questions about how to wire this thing and once again I always break the wiring into two pieces and we'll go out and look at the engine in a second but you always look at the back Pretend you're looking at the back of the CDI, the connector in the back of the CDI, and once again, plugged into the back of the CDI. Blue-white, that will always be the pulse generator. Ground will always be ground. And remember, you might have multiple things hooked to the ground. You need the frame to be hooked to the ground. You need the negative side of the battery to be hooked to the ground. You need the um, voltage regulator to be hooked to ground. You need a lot of things hooked to ground, right? Um, one side of the pulser is hooked to ground, one side of um, the ignition coil is hooked to ground, or the case of the ignition coil is hooked to ground. So you got ground is like multifaceted. So don't look at it, oh, I only have one green wire, what do I do? You have to have a lot of things hooked to ground. So ground is the, is the um, body of the machine, right? Ground is the body of the motor. All these things got to all be hooked together. Um, center right there, black and white. It's the on-off switch. Ground is off. And I want to mention that. Ground is off. If you hook that on and off switch to ground, you're going to have no spark and you're going to be cranky. Um, if you don't want to do anything with it at all, just let it float. Floating means you're on. Um, black red hooks to the stator. You can see it's the corner. And last but not least, black yellow that goes out to your ignition, and the other side of the ignition goes to ground. Anyway, I went out and looked at the engine, and you're going to see these wires on it. You got black, red, blue, white, green, white, and yellow. We'll talk about white and yellow in a second. But what do you do with these, right? Once again, black, red. Right? Green. Blue. Right? If you don't bother hooking up your um, kill switch, all you have to do now is hook the coil up to that and ground and the spark plug wire and you're ready to fire your engine. So that gives you ignition. Let's say you want to charge the battery. And this is where the white and yellow wires come in. Let's walk right up to the engine here and look at it up close and personal. The wires I just spoke of, right? Black and red, right? Green, blue. Those are all ignition wires, right? But remember, green goes to a lot of different things. 
white and yellow looks a little bluish on this but that one there is is yellow it's not bluish but you can see the or yellow and the white one looks a little bluish it's really white at least that's the way it looks on the camera here so where do they go I went through the trouble I just bought this this um, alternator I don't know could I get it to focus so that you can see the wires on it I think you, you guys can see that you see a white wire you see a yellow wire you see a red wire and you see a green wire right this known is known get you guys all nauseous this is known as a four wire voltage regulator for the GY6 150 and 125 to 250 ATVs dirt bike all that stuff um, came from California it's on its way cost me 12 bucks there are cheaper ones why did I buy this one well this one is located here in the United States so I don't have to wait a hundred years for it to get to me okay that's reason number one reason number two it had a white wire some of these have a pink wire instead of the white wire I think you would just hook the white wire where the pink wire goes and all would be good I think don't know haven't done it right I'm trying to with this channel um, when I do something then I own the information I could say hey I done this and this works if I don't do something I want to tell you I think this will work but I haven't witnessed it so I haven't tried it so right that hooks that's from the stator you know where it hooks on the CDI that's from the pulse generator you know where that hooks on the CDI this is the ground this ground hooks all over the place these two wires um, yellow and white they just plug right into this thing where yellow and white go um, you can see the plug on the end I think you guys could see the plug on the end Wait a minute, right there see how well it focuses you're actually gonna have to cut that off right because these have kind of banana clip ends or whatever you want to call those blunted ends or slide in connectors and that has a plug so you guys are gonna have to self wire that so you're gonna have to have multiple wires coming off the of ground you hook ground to green hook yellow to yellow and white to white these are once again white and yellow come from your stator ground um, comes from the engine the base of the engine so now you have AC power going into this now what do you want to get out of this DC power well your positive DC is the red wire and your ground is green so you just hook up the body to the red or you hook up the body to the green wire you hook up the negative terminal of the battery to the green wire and you hook the red wire here right to your positive on your battery um, I looked up a few schematics and I didn't see that they were switching that um, I did go through the trouble of doing that and I'd love to show you this the schematics that I looked at but I can't because then YouTube gets sorry for the wind YouTube gets cranky about copyright violations so I can't unfortunately do that um, but I guess what I would do is after hooking it up and putting a battery to it I you know obviously I try it to make sure everything's working I would put a fuse um, in series um, though once again they had this this hooked up directly to the battery and I don't I don't think they fused it um, I think I think they had the red wire hooked directly to the battery and once again that's not where the fuse was the fuse was coming out of the battery and going to other circuits so um, that too makes me a little bit nervous but 
um, that that's the way they had it in the schematic. One of the problems you have though is through some freak of nature if you blow the fuse on your regulator a lot of times if you float the positive on a regulator a regulator could die. I'm saying a lot of times. Does it always die? No. Sometimes it becomes walking wounded. On some it doesn't bother them at all. So y you know back to that pick your poison eh? You know sometimes you get burnt sometimes you don't. Um, Anyway, I hope this helps. I got about 10 minutes into it. So I discussed the charging circuit for this thing, right? And I discussed the um, wiring to get spark, right? For those of you who've been paying attention, you also notice this additional harness. This is actually pretty cool. You don't have to hook it up, but if you do hook it up, see how it goes? This, depending on you, when you shift, this grounds one side of one of these wires, depending on what gear you're in, whether you're in first, second, third, neutral, or reverse, right? It grounds one of these. I'm not sure. Maybe neutral doesn't light something up, or maybe it does. I'd have to play with, you know, the shifter and go through it to figure out what's what. So what you could do is you could put like a light post with a little number next to it, right? Three, two, one, neutral, reverse. You could do that and I think it actually it actually has enough wires for that so reverse might have its own light. So once again, three, two, one, neutral, reverse. You could put a light post like that or you can decode this out um, Bill Statton, William Statton, he's got a channel. He's actually gone through the trouble of decoding one of these out, so he's got a little light-up segment that says, you know, one, two, three, um, reverse. He he actually did that. So, um, particularly for everybody, because you know, now you know what these motors cost. They cost three seventy. Now you know what a regulator costs, about twelve bucks. They do have regulators down to seven bucks, but they got the pink wire. I wanted to get the wires such that they match. So I went with the um, with the proper coloring and I wanted to get it quickly so that um, I'm thinking of doing the fire up on this engine relatively real time, which for me relatively real time means over the next few weeks it is cold out so I'm, uh, I'm gonna go back inside for a little bit um, yeah I've today I've I fired up the wood stove it's that cold so um, yesterday I went through the trouble of cleaning up the basement so I don't burn myself out right that would have been very cool I mean, it sucks being homeless, but it really sucks being homeless in the dead of winter, right? Um, I mean, it always sucks being homeless, but in the dead of winter, it would uh, truly be less fun. Whenever I go in, I try to, you know, grab a piece of wood, right? Never hurts. That's about an hour worth of burn, 45 minutes, whatever. Put it under my shoulder. Anyway, folks, I want to thank you all for watching commenting and subscribing remember to keep your feet down keep your head up and enjoy all your days please like this video if you do um, and uh, we'll catch you all soon bye now